Hi there, this is Echo Transformer, and today we got a video about an upgrade kit for Toy World Constructor. There's a couple of different variations of these lat fillers. There's some shallow lat fillers and deep lat fillers that change the look of your assembled Toy World Constructor. I'm going to show you how to paint these up and how they look when they're installed in the combined mode. Just going to show an important step of washing your parts prior to painting. The parts from Shapeways end up with a little bit of um, powder on them. It's a nylon powder that comes from the uh, 3D printing process. And there's a fairly easy way to clean them. So I've got an old toothbrush here that's no longer in use. It's been cleaned. Um, and what I've got is, this is just a margarine container. And I've taken a little bit of dish soap. I've just put just a couple drops in there. And this is lukewarm water. And all I'm going to do is literally just uh, drop the parts in there. And what I do is take each part, get a little bit wet. Um, I do make sure I plug the sink just in case the parts fall over. And what I do is I just dunk the parts and then I take the toothbrush. And what I'm trying to do here is get in all the little corners. Um, and especially the parts where there's joints, like in here and here, there might be some powder built up by um, using the brush. I'm actually knocking the powder out and ensuring that there's no buildup in there, preventing parts from fitting well over uh, their connecting points. So it's an important step. It's one that maybe a lot of people might think of skipping, but don't skip this, this step. It really helps make sure the paint adheres well and the parts fit well and they look nice. Um, once I've done that, make sure I rinse them really well. Again, just, just lukewarm water. Make sure again I get in all those little joints. Um, I take the part, just uh, bang off as much water as possible and just sit and uh, let it dry. I usually let it dry for about half a day. So our goal is to get um, basically these Shapeways parts to look like this. So this is a finished set where I've spent a lot of time painting. I've worked this up in lots of very, very thin coats of green paint. You can see that the actual result is a very close match to an actual reference point. So this is actually from Constructor, that's his head. And I'm using this to see, am I getting the color close enough? So what do we need? So I've got a, um, this is a Tatnia paint. And this is X15. And then I've also got this Lemon Yellow X8. And then any gold will do. I just happen to have a Tester's Gold handy. So this is Tester's Gold. And this is acrylic. It's important that it's acrylic so it's compatible. And then this is just a regular generic um, craft acrylic paint. So what I'll do is, I don't know the exact amount of paint for each one. So what I tend to do is just put a bunch of green out. And I put it on this little, uh, this is just a margin tray. You can see all the other paint that I've mixed on it prior to this. So I'll just put a bunch out on there. The yellow, again, you want to make sure the paint is well stirred and mixed. So this has already been stirred up fairly well, but I'll just give it another shake here. And then I'm, I'm going to put a little less yellow out, just a little line like that. And then um, in terms of the white, same idea, just a glob over there. And then for the gold, same idea. Um, actually, this case, you're not going to use a lot of gold. Uh, this one's a little bit concentrated, so I'll just put some there like that. There's my gold. Okay, so I've got some water here. Um, put some water on the brush. I'll, I'll mix it with the brush, which will be fine for now. So I'm trying to get a, um, a color roughly this color. If anything, it should be a little bit on the lighter side of that color. So you can see I'm bringing some white in, and then I definitely need to add yellow to get to closer to this green. I'm going to try and mix up as much as I can of the amount of paint I can get here. So you can see it's getting too dark at this point. So again, I'm just going to carefully draw in white and mix it together, get some water so it stays nice and loose. And again, a little more white. It actually needs a reasonable amount of white and a reasonable amount of yellow to get uh, to that and then a tiny, tiny bit of gold. Just add a little bit of metal flake. You can see here, pretty close, just a little more white. 
So I'm just, I keep mixing it together to get it white. And that's to, on the lighter side. I'm going to compare it. I need to actually compare it to a reference piece. You can see that that basically is buried in there. I can't see the difference in color. So that's good. So I take my part here. And what I want to do is get lots of water. And I'm literally just going to stain the part. So you can see it's super, super thin and it soaks in quickly. And it'll actually turn a lighter color once uh, once it dries up. But uh, that's the goal here. You can see you almost can't have too much water in this early part of painting it. And you'll see that the Shapeways nylon material absorbs the uh, paint quite a bit. See, if I go too thin, you'll get almost nothing. So you need a little bit of paint there. But you need just enough so you get like a smooth, even coat. And just take the brush and drag it across if you see like a blob um, soak it up as best you can you see i was getting a blob in the corner i'm just going to draw it up with the brush and pull it across the surface so that's what i'm going to do for these two parts i'll get a thin coat on here and then i'll show you what it looks like once the first coat is uh, nearly done okay so i'm nearly complete on the first part here you can see i'm trying to get in every little corner of it um, I may have to soak the brush a little bit in water just to get it to flow, but um, you're just looking for any missed parts. Like there's a little notch there that I missed. Just put some paint on that and just try to get every little uh, portion that you can. The nice thing about the acrylic is it adds some strength to the part. It helps fill the things in, so uh, it's worth getting on all faces, even on the inside. So you can see like the part that I've coated once it's quite different in terms of how solid it looks and how smooth it looks. Um, this one I even sanded it a couple times. And um, what I notice a lot with Shapeways parts for people that buy them, they tend to only do one coat and they do it maybe a little bit on the thick side and it still has this really grainy, sandy look. You can see just after one coat, the part looks okay, but um, after several coats, it gets a lot stronger, more built up and a lot smoother. So this is where we want to get. So that's after one coat, and this is probably after five or six coats. Big difference. So I'll go do the other part, and we'll see where we get. Okay, so um, for these parts, I'll just show you how they install. These are the, I've got two sets. These are the shallow ones, and I've got deeper ones. And the difference is sort of how big the V is and how low it connects. Uh, down here so you can see the difference in, in the, the look of him. This is actually a lot like almost identical to the box art um, and, and even how they're styled and how these install it's pretty simple actually. They, they're really just clipped up under there. Um, I'll show you there's these two little tiny posts here and then a little slot and the little posts um, connect to there's a little gap uh, just underneath where uh, Burden's arm is. There's a little gap there. Those posts go in there. And then this little notch goes into this little notch. Or, sorry, this tab goes into the notch. So really all you need to do, what I like to do is I just lift up on this area a little bit as I install it. And then it just pops in and it holds really securely. Okay, so that's the basically the shallow set, and then I'll quickly show you the, the uh, deep set. So same idea, just kind of lift up on them. They pop out pretty easily, but they help, they hold in place really well. So uh, that works well. And again, um, the installation is identical. These ones have some extra parts on the back side, which are for burdens. Um, adapters like the heel adapters so you can get a version of these with or without those adapters so just so you know about that and then once again um what i'm gonna i'll just do one at a time uh, just lift up a little bit and you kind of feel it um pop into that little tab and you want you want uh, this part to hook around uh burden's cab area and oh i'm doing a shallow one i want a thick one here we go wrong one um, to pop over that area. Just lift it up a little bit. Oh, I went and disconnected it there. Lift it up a little bit and uh, there you go. Now you can also do it in advance of actually um, putting 
um, hook, I forget his name, <laughs> allocator onto burden. That's another way to do it. Install these first, install, install these onto burden and then attach allocator to burden. But I just did it without uh, taking the whole thing apart, which is also kind of nice. So there you go, there's the deeper ones. And you can see that the V connects more in with this portion here. Just the styling is slightly different. I mean, uh, some people are gonna like it one way, some people are gonna like it the other. That's there's always nice to have options. And um, yeah, you can see that the way this part is styled again, very much like the um, box art. So there he is. Um, finally have lat fillers for my V1 uh, constructor.